In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build some cards that are very popular on websites and they have a lot of uses. Um, we're going to start with something simple like this. Um, we can play around with the settings and we can end up with some more complicated examples like these. So we'll just get started on this tutorial and we'll see how we get on. So I'm going to go to a blank page here and if I switch to my node browser, you can see we've just got a container and I've set that to the height of the screen. Then we've got a grid and my grid is set to three columns. So to build our first card, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna pick a container as this will form the basis of our card. Now containers are really flexible and can be used for many, many things. So I'm gonna to switch to sizing and I'm gonna to go to theme because I wanna set a custom height on this and I'm gonna switch off the mask and paintbrush icon and that means it won't be using the theme studio settings. We can put an arbitrary value in here and set it to whatever size we like. So we can use CSS values, but I'm just going to use some pixel values. So let's say 400 PX. So that's quite a nice size. Uh, we might want to go a bit taller, but we can play around with this at any time. Now I want an image in my background here. So let's go to the background of the container and I want it static. Now we can pick a color like we usually do, or we can click on the image and add an image here. Now we can choose one from the hard drive or we can choose one from our resources area that we've already dropped in. So let's move this to the side and I can get a little preview down here as well. So the elements UI is really easy to configure. We can click through and look through these and I'm gonna use the uh, woman there with the yellow top. So let's drop that in and you can see she's appeared in there. Um, let's move these back as we don't need those now. Now our card is starting to take shape, um, but at the moment it just looks like a container with a background image. So let's start adding a little bit more detail to this. Now I want the corners to be curved, so I'm gonna select the container again, go to borders, static, and then we're gonna set the radius here. I'm gonna choose XL, which is quite a nice size. It's not too big, not too small. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So we're starting to look like a card, um, one of those classic cards you would see on websites already. Now, my content is set to appear in the center. So let's drop some text on. And let's just cut this down a little bit. We'll call this a uh, basic card. And let's change some of the values on this text uh, because I would like it to be a lot larger. Let's go, that's quite large. Let's go 4x and we could increase the weight a little bit um, and we could choose a custom font. I've already set these two up uh, in the theme studio. So let's change the color of this text as well. We set it to white um, and that's all looking pretty good. Now, if we wanted to center this text, there's a couple of ways of doing that. I can align the text like this um, or I can go down to sizing uh, sorry, I can go down to spacing and set the margins to auto and this will center our text. So this is looking pretty good. I've got a basic card here. Um, and if this background is too busy or too bright, what we can do, we can add a background overlay. So I can go to static. I'm going to pick a black color. I want, um, I want it to be black and then we'll just lower the opacity on this and you can see it just makes that card a bit more legible. So that's looking pretty good. Now my by default my content appears in the middle of the card um, but we might want the content up here or down here and we can do that by adjusting the layout of the container and to do that we go to content layout and we can just uh, click these icons you can see a line at the top center or bottom. So this is really easy to do. Um, now you might be thinking, well, this text is a bit too close to the top. And there's a few ways we can adjust that. We could put padding on the card. Um, so I could increase the padding on the top here. But what I could also do is on the container, I could increase the inner padding on, on here as well. So um, let's go to spacing. And I'm going to click the blue line here so it links these two up together and keeps the values in sync. So I can go five and that will bring it down a little bit. 
And this is nice because now it means whether I've got content at the top or the bottom, it's going to be, uh, it's going to keep that um, distance for us. So let me select my text here again. And um, what I want to do, I want to left align this. So we go back to our spacing and I'm going to switch off this auto setting. And now you can see it's left aligned itself. And to give a bit of spacing there, we'll do the same as we did at the top and the bottom. I'm going to select the container and then I'm going to go to spacing and we set these to five. So I'm going to do the same on the left and right. I'm going to set that to five. Um, and now we've got some left aligned text and this is looking pretty good. So what we can do, I can duplicate this text and we could make this, uh, this text a little bit smaller. So let's go down in size. I've got two XL there. Um, and what I also want to do, I want to reduce the line height on this text. So let's go to text and the line height there, let's just bring that in so it's a bit tighter. And I can double click in there. This is my basic card. It's pretty cool. So that is how you would set up a basic card and we can put any content we want in here, like I could add a button in. Um, and you notice this auto center aligns itself and that's not really what I want because we want everything left aligned. So we'll go to spacing and notice that automatically the button is set to auto on both sides. So we don't want that. I'll just set it to zero. Um, and now it's going to fill that width. But again, I don't really, um, on this example, I don't really want the button to fill the width. So what I'm going to do, um, we can set this to auto and that will produce an auto margin there, which pushes it into its natural size. So from here, we could customize the button however we like. Uh, we could give it slightly uh, more padding on the inside. And of course, we could come down here and we could give it some, um, some nice uh, curves on the edge of the button. So this is starting to look uh, very nice. Let's just change that line height again to get that looking a bit more balanced. Now I want a bit more space, some even space between all of these items. So I'm going to select the container and there's a couple of ways of doing this. One way would be to put these inside of a flex box so uh, that I can adjust the height between each of them. Or the very simple way is to select the container they're in and go to the content layout and set the gap. So you can see there I've selected six and it's created just a nice bit of uh, space there. And because this is all in the container and this is how we're managing the layout, we can change this at any time. So I can easily move my content about there and it sticks to the card. And even if we change the, um, the sizing of the card, it all just stays and works nicely there. So 400, go to 300. So this is uh, very nice. Um, now let's duplicate this card. Uh, so I'm going to copy and paste it. So we've got another card to work with. And I've selected my grid now and I'm just going to create a bit of space in here so we can see what we're doing. Um, so a bit of spacing on the horizontal there. And what I want on this card is I want to put a background in here. Um, so that overlays that overlays this card. So let's drop on another container. And of course, the container is going to appear above the other items. So you can see here, I've got my card. Let's rename this so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, card two. And this one is card one. Um, and then we've got our container here. And let's call this overlay. And I want to drop all these items into that container. That's looking good. And obviously, the container is transparent currently. So let's give it a background. And we just want a slight color to this. Again, I'm going to pick black here. Um, and let's go for 40%. So this is starting to take shape, but we've got a couple of issues here. I want it to run to the edge and I want some padding on, on the inside of the, um, this overlay. So the text isn't butted right up to it. So let's start by selecting the card and we're going to remove our padding on here that we set up previously. And this was on spacing. So let's set all of these to zero. 
And now our card run and now our overlay runs to the edge of the card. So this is looking pretty good. We're getting close to what we want. All I need to do now is set that padding onto the uh, onto the overlay graphic. So I go into spacing and uh, going to link these up and let's just create a little bit of space. We probably don't need as much as five. Let's go three there. So this is looking uh, this is looking very nice. I might reduce that in size, make it a bit heavier. Um, and on the overlay, we want to um, have that spacing on there as well. So again, this is we're just working with containers here, and they're really flexible. So on the content layout, we want to adjust the gap, and we'll go three there. So this is looking good. And what we can also do, um, I'd like this to be blurred. So um, it kind of gives a frosted glass look. So we can go to filters and we go on static and we can add a backdrop blur to it. Um, let's see, let's add 10. That's looking pretty good or five, just a light bit there. So this is really nice. Um, now, what you will notice uh, if you're watching carefully, this uh, has square edges. And that is because our overlay item is square and it's running right to the edge there. So what we need to do is tell the card wrapper that we don't want the contents to overflow its bounds. So what we need to do there is we go to layout and the overflow is set to none and we want to set the overflow to hidden. And now you see that automatically changes there. The um, it crops out those sharp edges. So let's move that back again so you can see and then overlay, overflow hidden. So this is looking very nice. Um, we could copy and paste this card. So this will be card three. Um, and again, let's uh, do a slightly different layout here. We could align this to the top uh, or the middle. Can align it to the top and on our card what I want to do I think I'm going to change the color here so we're going to go to white and uh, we'll make that fairly light and let's change our text color whoops have we got a yellow yes we've got a yellow um, or maybe that's not uh, not dark enough I was hoping to pick up on the on the uh, the woman's clothing there, but maybe that's that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, so it's really uh, really easy to change these things and get uh, get it looking. Getting these, um, sorry, that's on borders there because I'm talking at the same time. Let's change the color of this uh, background, um, and this is really just to show you how we can make different cards uh, very quickly to give different looks. So this is working very nice. Um, all right, let's uh, duplicate this card again. And here we are, this is card uh, four. And let's just move that to the end of the grid. And it's butted up here, so we want to set a gap on the grid so let's set five there we go um, now we had another card where this was um, where this was inset and you probably already know how to do that we just need to set some padding on the container here so if I go to spacing and set this to five boom this is now inset um, we could have a totally different look you know on here um, let's go for a black button there. I've done it again on borders. We actually want to set the background. Set that to black. That's looking good. And I want my button to fill the space. So I'm going to set the other side to auto. Uh, or actually, I want it to fill the space. So we're going to set it to zero. Um, and we could align both of these texts and get them center like that. Call this an advanced card just to make it different. So this is um, again giving us a different look and we can change the border on here. 
um, to curved so we'll just go with large that's looking good and we could um, adjust the border on the button as well and that's set to medium so that's looking really nice now um, we could bunch that together a little bit closer and that's on the content layout again so you should be getting familiar with this by now um, and let's just copy and paste this card once more and the cards are just set up to the containers are just set up to take one grid space but we can easily change that if we go up to flex box and grid we'll tell this uh, item to actually take up two grid spaces so let's go and make it a grid item automatically it jumps to six but we don't want that we just want it to be two um, so you can see there it now takes up uh, two columns um, so this is really really easy to customize these and um, once you understand how these are built then it becomes really flexible and you can build exactly uh, exactly the cards you want um, let's copy and paste that one you know uh, we could make this a longer card let's set that to three and uh, we could turn off the background and we could put some borders on here let's make these two we'll get rid of the button uh, gonna make that two that looks pretty good and we'll turn off the filters no we don't need that oops did I forget to do a border there yes I did two boom so um, yeah it's really fun to play around with these uh, once you understand how they're built white let's change that to white and give a little you know and you can once you've built these cards they're really easy to reuse um, anywhere you like and you can obviously add animation things to them to get them to hover uh, let's set the content now I want the content layout of this I'm gonna pop that down the bottom there um, yeah, if you wanted to add animation to this, we could add some transforms. So on hover, um, we could get it to resize. So the scale at the end, we want it to be 105. So now when I hover into here, let me just change the height of uh, this. There we go. I'm just changing the height of the wrapper here so we can see what we're doing. Perfect. So yeah, now when I roll into there, the card gets bigger. You know, we can uh, rotate that as well. All, all fun stuff. Uh, we could also apply filters as well. So on hover, um, what I want to do, um, I want to uh, blur the background, the background image. So let's set that to 10. Um, just to see how this is working and what I want I want it to apply only to the background um, set that to zero and we want that blur to happen at the end so let's set that to five and now when I roll in the card gets bigger and the background blurs so uh, another nice effect or probably that something that will look nicer is if we turn the um, now what we could do, uh, we could turn the overflow off so it doesn't um, so it doesn't get bigger in the in the just the background um, gets bigger there when you hover into it. So rather than because the overflow is on on this, let me just show you that. So if I go into the uh, layout and I turn that off you'll see the image still gets bigger and blurs because we're scaling it so you need if you want this effect you need to make sure the overflow is hidden so you get a nice effect like this so let's go and view those in the browser um, so we've gone through and made a lot of cards here and you can see how easy these are to put together add animation um, yeah, really flexible. You can have a lot of fun with these. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and I will see you in the next one.